All right. So um, in last lesson, we talked about um, what is music. That's what we talked about. Um, in this lesson, we're going to talk about feeling the music. Um, what does it mean to feel the music? Uh, before we get started, though, I wanted to say um, sorry if I'm making some of these confusing. Um, these videos are meant to be uh, added on to the lessons uh, as an extra thing off to the side. Um, so, you know, it's okay if you pick through them and, and only watch the ones that are important to you. Um, they're just to be there for you to be able to have a reference to. Um, or if you want to go above and beyond what we're learning, um, or if, if you want to know more about a certain topic. Um, and for the most part, I try to keep them simple. Um, if you would like me to expand more on an idea that I share in one of these videos, let me know, and I'll and I'll you know I'll, I'll really give a more in-depth uh, video. I try to keep these under ten minutes. Is the thing. So um, if you want, I can upload uh, more about something that to really give an in-depth uh, look at it. Um, okay, so um, you know I I love music. It, it it's a way that I can. I can relay thoughts. I can relay um, feelings. You can you can speak in music in such a free way. Um, I, I, me personally, I can say with music things that I cannot say and uh, cannot express clearly with words. Um, sometimes you know I have to think about what I'm saying or whatever. But with music, it just comes so naturally. Um, it's just. It's a perfect way um, to express. Um, it, it's a way of talking, is what it is. Um, it, it's more than just hitting the right notes. It's important that you play clearly. It is important that you, you know master your art. Uh, make sure that your fingers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yes, that's important. But if you remember in in First Corinthians thirteen, I think it is, uh, Paul writes to the Corinthians and he says. I can do all these things, but without love, um, I'm just a, I'm just a, a, a banging gong. Uh, you know, that's it. It's the same thing with music. You can play, you know, be the best musician in the world, but if you don't mean what you're playing, if you don't relay a real emotion, something that you actually feel or think, it's nothing. It's just a noise. It's just, blech. Um, you know, obviously some notes are good to listen to and some aren't but the feeling that a that a note is played with determines everything it's like it's like how you say things you can say um uh let's say um well you're a little young but let's just pretend that you have a husband uh if you were to tell your husband i love you um i mean if you didn't mean the words that you were saying, it would just be words, you know. Um, but if you do mean the things that you say, and there's that emotion behind it, and there's that that um, transparency, that that realness, that realness with what you're saying, it comes across in your words. Um, Mm -hmm. So music is a way of expressing your thoughts and emotions without necessarily having words. Sometimes you write lyrics to go with songs, of course, but the music is the main part. Um, so when when you're trying, it's going to take you a while, but w when you start feeling the music and you start actually expressing yourself, realize that there's no set right or wrong way. You know what I mean? Um, a song is just a song. It's the the performer that really gives it its 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 depth, its atmosphere. Um, now, obviously, the composer um, meant it or wrote it with a certain atmosphere. But I mean, unless you're trying to play it exactly how the composer meant, um, it's going to be you who's going to give it new meaning and give it um, give it its its voice, give it its spirit, um, so to say. Um, but there really is no right or wrong way. It's just what you you're meaning to say. Um, a song a song may have thousands of applications based off the person um, 
for instance, one person hears a song and they hear it's a sad love song. They miss their lover. But then another person hears that exact same song and they and they say, well, it's about it's about a dead a dead friend. You know, it, it, the the moral of the story isn't exactly that you are feeling exactly in the exact same situation as the artist who wrote it. The moral of the story is that you are expressing yourself. You're you're th you're you're speaking in music. Um, so obviously this, what I'm encouraging you to do is play with feeling. Play like you actually mean what you're playing. The contrast of this would be playing legalistically flat, shallow, hollow, where, where you're playing the notes and you're just going through the thing and you may hit everything perfectly or you may not, it doesn't really matter. But it has no, like I said, it has no spirit, it has no heartbeat to it. Um, so I, I, when we get into sheet music, you'll see that that it actually has things in there to f help you figure out. It'll have things like this is how it's supposed to be played, like um, in Beethoven's for Elise, um, you do 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 that song. Uh, it's at the beginning of it. It says to play it with poco moto, which means little motion. Um, and so it's telling you how the atmosphere that it's trying that you want it, that he, the author is intending. Um, it, it, it sometimes it'll also have um, words that mean how fast to play it, it's tempo. Uh, but that's a little bit off topic. The, we'll, we'll get into that later once again. Um, but sometimes, sometimes in sheet music it'll say what atmosphere, what mood to play with. Um, uh, but to remember this, to express yourself in music and mean what you play is the greatest task of a musician. It's important that you perfect your art. It's important that you play well. It's important that that you that that you um you know have good stage presence. That you have good posture and everything. But a musician who plays without expressing him him or herself, and 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 does not mean what they are playing, is a worthless and pointless musician. They're they're pointless. To really feel is the key point that I want you to grasp here. So. Play with feeling and play it well. Now, uh, this isn't going to come in very good because the microphone on my webcam doesn't work real well. But you'll get the idea. This is playing flatly. Real, real flat, you know. And it doesn't matter the speed. I played that kind of fast. But now I'm going to play with more feeling. See, it's 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 the attitude that you play with. Do you mean the notes that you're playing? Do you mean it? Um, and the more you practice this, the more you'll the more you'll get it. Um, if you're having a problem with with expressing yourself in music, try to listen to classical music, and you'll really see the the depths and complexities of it. Um, also, I would highly recommend uh, Michael W. Smith's. Um, uh, uh, newest instrumental CD. It's called Glory, um, G L O R Y Glory by Michael W. Smith. Uh, it is a fantastic, um, fantastic orchestral piece. Um, there's no words, just music. Um, but it's very. You can hear his age in it, and you can really hear his reflections on life, uh, his respect for certain things, and his love for other things. Uh, I would highly suggest you go and listen to that. It's a great, great starting point to really earning your voice. As a musician, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to learn your voice. You're gonna have to make a voice. Um, it's like a baby. You know, a baby at first doesn't have a voice. It just, you know, cries and whines. But then as it ages, it, it, it gets a voice and it matures that voice. And then eventually, you can recognize that person by its voice, by their voice. And it's the same thing with this. Um, really. Uh, grow your voice. Grow your grow your your your, your musical voice. Um, all right. So play with feeling and play it well.